Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions get ready with me using the brand new ColourPop Limoncello collection. So if you want to see my thoughts on that, then just keep watching. crazy because I prepped for this video. I'm ready to put this stuff on my face. But hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. This collection was sent to me in PR. I am so thankful because it is such a cute summary kind of collection. I can't wait to show you guys the packaging. Looks like, according to the website, as of now, the moment that I'm filming this, because it did launch today, the date that it launches is day that I'm filming it. Only one lip gloss it looks like is sold out. So also ColourPop's having a 25% off spring sale as well. So this collection is already at 25% off. With that being said, let's just get into it. So I've pretty much looked at everything, but I haven't swatched anything, nothing like that. I only saw what I shared with you guys on my Instagram stories when I was showing you what was in the collection. So first of all, I have to show you the boxes. How beautiful. I love love this box. The floral blues, the muted yellow, lemons. It's just so cute. I'm definitely keeping these boxes for a while. So photogenic. And in these, we have two of the Soul Body oils. So we have a glow oil and then a shimmering dry oil. So these are going to come in use in the summer. Not really. You know what? I guess I could do something. I wasn't going to do this, but let's do the glow oil. So these are in the shade Citrin Crush. I just want to do like a, a touch. A touch. That's it. That's it, just that. We'll put this over the skin. Mmm, it smells so good. Just a little bit, and you can see it added nice little sparkles to the skin. Again, it's really going to wake up the skin and make it look so much prettier. You know, when you go to the beach, when you go out in the sun, anything like that. Maybe not in the <laughs> dark room that I'm in. Okay, anyways, so we have both of these. They are $10 each originally, but with the sale, they are $7.50 each, which is a really good deal. I'm gonna save the blush for later because I like to decide that after the eyes. So the first thing for the eyes that I wanna talk about is this shadow stick set. Each of these shadow sticks are sold individually. Each stick alone is $6 or with this 25% off, it's going to be $4.50. Let's see, so there are four in here. So they are super duper tiny and really cute. So all four of these are available if you're interested. They have a twisty guy. So this first one is a matte in the shade Style and Ease. Not super pigmented. I did go over it a few times, but Style and Ease. Here's another matte. This is Check Please. This one's a little bit smoother, a little bit more pigmented. Here's a metallic and citrus squeeze. Really pretty gold. And we have a more light gold and cool breeze. So these are the four shadow sticks. This is a new formula from ColourPop. I don't believe they've ever come out with a formula like this before. Since I do want to play with the main palette today, I'm not going to try these out. Maybe I'll put them to the side. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that. Let me put them to the side. So let's see if they dried down. So they do have some blending room. The blue is sticky feeling, but it's not really moving around. Let's get into the main baby here. So this is the eyeshadow palette of the collection. This is the Lemoncello palette. And again, the whole packaging of this collection is just everything. Now, if this was sent to me in PR, would I have ran out to get to this collection? Probably not, but I did think it was extremely beautiful. Now here are the shades. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. I love the neutral pops of yellow. Great neutral palette. Of course, you have the pop of blue. I'm really into this. I think it's super pretty. Again, is it something that you need? Probably not. Now, let me get another ColourPop palette. It's like 9 o'clock. I am all over the place for this review. I just want to see if the pans are bigger. They definitely are. So this is the Flutter By. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Flutter By palette. Look. The pans on this one are bigger. Very interesting. So the palette is $16. If you get it right now, it's going to be $13.50. What a steal of a deal. $13.50 for an eyeshadow palette with such a pretty color story. Let's find out if the quality is worth it though. So in the, um, in the collection, 
There also are some brushes and they came in a yellow pouch. I've never used ColourPop brushes before. So today is the day. So I think what I'm gonna do just for my peace of mind, I'm gonna do this eye first and then I'll come back and do, you know. Let me just say this palette, they did it. They did it with this. It is really nice quality from the shades that I've tried. You know how sometimes color pop can be a little bit hit or miss. Let me show you how I got this stunning look. So we're taking this yellow shade right here and I'm using this color pop brush and I'm going to just brush this all over the crease. You can see it has quite a lot of pigment to it. It's not overly pigmented to where you're wearing an obnoxious yellow on your eye but it's just yellow enough to where it's like, I'm wearing yellow, but I'm not wearing yellow. That makes sense? Probably not. Okay, so next shade, I can't pronounce any of these names, so <laughs> we're going into this shade next. It's gonna cool the look down, and I'm gonna put this right in the crease, staying a little bit lower so that the yellow is there to pop through, but lower, just like that. See how they blended so nicely? And then I'm going to take this dark brown shade. And these colors do have a little bit of fallout, but ColourPop shades typically, they do have fallout. So we're gonna blend this out and you can see I'm adding quite a lot of depth. Do you see that there is no fallout? And this is going to blend out pretty easily. Quite impressed with this shade because sometimes a shade like this can go very, very bad where it will stick in the place that you applied it. You can see this is blending out very seamlessly. I'm gonna take my original crease brush and brighten up those colors again. So this is where the palette took a turn for the absolute best. We're gonna take the green shade in here. I had to, it's so buttery smooth. Look at that. Do you see that? I can't lie about this quality, you guys. You can see how beautiful and pigmented that is. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here, the light yellow. So we have kind of like a green gold that I applied all over the little a green gold that I applied to the center of the lid. And then we're applying the light yellow gold into the inner half. Kind of blend those shimmers into the mattes. And I'm gonna take just a little bit more of the deep brown to bring the depth back into this outer corner. Now, if you wanted this look to stay more on the neutral side, of course, you could put the neutrals underneath, but they added this pop of blue, and I've been doing a lot of blue looks lately. I don't love blue. I like this muted kind of blue, and I do think it's really fun with the palette. I think just with the packaging, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more blueies in there, a little bit more like colors to play off of this, but nonetheless, it's a great pop of blue, so I'm gonna use one of the new shadow sticks, the blue one. I'm gonna use that as the base. I had to sneak in using one and I'm impressed with this. Now I haven't done much with it so I don't want to say all of these are really good but I like how it blends out. You have some playroom with it but it still holds that opacity and it really is the perfect partner to the matte blue that they put in the palette which I'm sure was intentional. So I'm gonna take the blue. This again is a ColourPop brush. I'm just gonna put it right on top and you can see they're made for each other literally. Okay and then I'm I'm gonna go in with a touch of the dark brown just to fuse the top and the bottom together. This is gonna be the meeting point here to where it makes sense that this is one eye look. And then for funsies, I grabbed a little bit of the yellow and we're gonna bring it down to the inner corner. And as you can see, as it blends in with the blue, it's almost turning green to match with the center lid color that we use. So it all comes full circle. And I can't speak on all of the shades in this palette yet, but every single shade I use in this palette, really nice. It's not a unique color story by any means. And I would have liked a little bit more pops as opposed to all of these neutral browns, just because we all have so many of that in our collection. But overall, I mean, it's a gorgeous palette and I can see it being used by me a lot. Gosh, look at that bronze shade with like a green gold shift. This is a really good formula from ColourPop. Honestly, I feel like it's one of the best formulas I've tried from them in a while because sometimes their quality can be a little bit questionable. This is 
up there. I really like this. Okay, let's move on to blush now. In the collection, there are three blush sticks. What are the price on these? All are available. They are $9 each with the sale price. They are $6.75. So here's the packaging. I mean, it's the same as everything else, but it's so pretty. I have to show you. I'm in love with it. So here is what the packaging of the actual component looks like. Very cute. So this first shade right here is Coastal Drive. Oh, and you can see it's very, very sheer. This next one is Cottage Drive. It's a little bit more orange. Oh, wow. This last one is Picnic Time. Pretty bright. It has a little bit more pigment than the others, but hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with the Cottage Life. I think it'll go the best with my makeup look. And I don't have a ton of these blush sticks. I've only tried one before and I don't love it. So let's see. It's quite sheer. Like I'm using a sponge and it's hard to pick up the color. So I normally don't like putting it straight on the skin because it moves foundation, but I think that's what we are gonna have to do with this formula. It does give a wet look to the skin. I don't know, I don't really like that though. I think it's too shiny. I think I would prefer something a little bit more demi-matte. Not something super matte, but this just looks a little bit too dewy and oily on the skin for my preferences for a cream blush. Yeah. And it's not giving me much color, which you saw in the swatches. You could see that it was very sheer, but I wouldn't run out to get these. I'm just, yeah, I don't really like the formula on this, to be quite honest. Very cute, but if you are very fair, I think you would like these. Or if you love the no makeup makeup look and you put very little foundation on your skin and you just want a dewy hydrated look, you're not even that concerned with color, you might like these because it does add that dewy finish. It's not my favorite, like I wouldn't run out and get it. Let's do a little bit of lip gloss swatching. So they included four Lux glosses in the collection. So these are $8 each, $6 with the sale. So this first color, Italian Ice, oh my gosh. I love this. It is a clear gloss with gold glitters running through it. Obviously you can't really see it, but it looks just so cute. Look at that. Mm. I love the smell of these. It smells so good. So just a nice clear gloss and it is extra juicy looking. Is that just me? It looks extra juicy. This next one is gelato. That's what gelato looks like. It has a little bit more color. Oh yeah, you can see that on the lips. Mm, that's really pretty. These are making my lips look super juicy. I have a couple Lux glosses, but the formula of this has an extra shine. I don't know if it's this collection or just me. I don't even know what this shade is called. It is named Panna Cotta right here. That's going to be that shade right there. Like a light creamsicle orange kind of shade. I'm gonna like this with a lot of my like nude lipsticks. So you can see it has a little bit of pigment to it. It's not as shiny as the first two. I'd recommend the first two over that one. Okay, last one. This is the one that is sold out. It's Biscotti. Ooh, she's deep. This is Biscotti right here. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do liner and lashes so you can kind of get a feel for the entire look and i'll be back with my final thoughts on everything right here is the final look with liner lashes i put a nude lip liner on underneath and then i put the panna cotta lip gloss on top i love it it looks really great with a lip liner so let's do a quick overview of everything from the collection so we have the soul oils i really do like these i don't think you need them in every color but i think it's a great pickup if you want to test out kind of a shimmery body oil come summertime so i don't think you need a ton of colors of these because they have so many on the website but i do like these because they are gold and i think gold looks really good in the summertime now the shadow sticks i don't really feel comfortable telling you whether or not these are worth it i did enjoy the blue and i did think it paired very well with the blue in the eyeshadow palette so maybe if you think you might use the blue in the eyeshadow palette a lot at least the blue would be really nice don't know how it wears like 
like I said, haven't really played with these a lot, so I don't want to speak too much on them, but I think they have a good formula. I really did enjoy the blue. To me, this Limoncello palette is one of my new favorite color pop palettes. Like, not to be dramatic, because it isn't a unique color story. It's not something you need to run out and get, but I love, love, love the quality of this palette, and these colors are so easy to grab for while still being a little bit fun. So if you're a neutral lover, you have your neutral options. It has the great yellow tones for summer, and you can play around a little bit. Like, you have this green gold, you have this blue. I really love this look, so definitely not a necessary palette. I really like it. The blush sticks, I personally do not recommend. It's not a formula that I'm really into, if I'm being honest. If you like really sheer, really dewy cheek products, you will like these, but I like something with a little bit more opacity to them, more of, not a matte, but these are like pure, almost like dewy glossiness. I don't like that. I like the little bit of a natural sheen that a cream blush gives, but this was too dewy. Now the lip glosses, I really enjoy all of these from the collection, particularly, I didn't think I'd say this for a clear gloss, but this clear gloss is so juicy. It's delicious. Like, it's so pretty to look at. I mean, it's a clear gloss, but I love it so much. It's so shiny. I mean, all of these are really, really pretty, but this clear one, it just added something, I feel like. I don't know if you missed that, but I really feel like it just added something. Oh, and last, the brushes. I mean, I don't think these are amazing. They certainly worked and they're pretty affordable. They're fine not my favorite brushes but yeah i would pass on the brushes honestly so pass on the blush sticks pass on the brushes don't need the shimmer oil but everything else was really really nice so thank you guys for tuning into this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you guys in the next one i guess have a good one